Hello everybody, so just one second before the video begins, um, I just want to say this video was recorded on Wednesday, the day of the event, so this was supposed to be released on Wednesday, today is Friday, so you know, I'm a bit of a bit late, but you know, I had some stuff to do with uh, school and all that stuff on that day, so you know, that day was kind of a busy day, but you know, it doesn't matter, I'm just letting you guys know with a quick notice, because you know, I feel like if I did not upload a video the, this year, it, it kind of like breaks the tradition, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, enjoy the video. Fellas, we just witnessed a work of art. It's not every day you get to see something that can define an entire generation, but I firmly believe that tonight we have seen that. So the Apple event just finished. And if I'm uploading this on Thursday, I did record this on the day of, so Wednesday. And uh, yeah, let's talk about what was unveiled. So the Apple Watch was the product that got the most attention of the entire event. Um, I think it got uh, just, like, just, as, like, just a little bit more attention than the iPhones. Um, but that's because they had a brand new version to introduce, so... You know, we get we kick off things with the Apple Watch Series Eight, and you know it's uh it's not it's not a bad upgrade from before. Like, there's not much to say about this one in the new SE, but the real deal comes from the Apple Watch Ultra, a new Apple Watch made specifically for people on crazy adventures, like hikers, like long distance marathon runners, and stuff like that. It's like, it's it, it looks like. A work of art, kinda, like, it's not as much of a work of art as what we'll get to later, but, you know, it's great. And I feel like for people who want to, like, like, who want to, a sufficient device for those kinds of adventures, I think this would be a, a good margin. Um, so, there's not much to say with the Apple Watches. Because it's kind of like the same thing every year, except for the Apple Watch Ultra. Uh, so they will come out, like, on the 16th, I believe. And then we have the new AirPods Pro, the second gens. And I'm not going to lie, I was very hyped going into this. I was like, okay. Uh, the, I know the design is not going to change much, but I know the case design will change. And, like, they're going to do, like, many more things. They're going to have lots less support. Turns out the original AirPods did have lossless support this whole time, and you can do that in the settings of Apple Music. But, you know, the battery life is a little bit longer, but you know, like, I've, I have used my AirPods for like, the most amount of time, the most amount of hours I've used my AirPods for are like, like three to four hours, like, continuous, and I always remember to charge it, so it's not gonna be a huge deal, but I appreciate it. And they, they do have like a new like amplifier and stuff like that, so maybe the sound could be a little bit better, but I am I, I don't know. But what is gonna be better is not this next product, the one after that. So new iPhones, the iPhone 14 and not 14 Max, like we all thought, the 14 Plus. They're bringing the Plus name back, and. Hopefully that means we can finally have um, a like sideways home screen, like you know. Hopefully you 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 won't just have to do this with your phone all the time. So hopefully that happens. But besides that, you have like a new action mode. I think uh, it's a, it's like a video stabilizer. Yeah, the iPhone uh, 14 and 14 Plus are not uh, so bad upgrades, but uh, the main star of the show for the 14 and 14 Plus are emergency SOS. Basically, like you can get help from anywhere, like from like nearby cell towers or communication satellites way up there. Uh, but yeah, besides that, it's pretty much the same as the 13. And it even has the A A15 Bionic chip in it, so not the A16. That comes with the Pro models. And speaking of the Pro models, oh boy, that is a revolution. We witnessed a revolution today, ladies and gentlemen. 
we witnessed something groundbreaking, something extraordinary, something that's going to be in the phones for the next 10 years. Well, we must first start off by saying not only did Apple get rid of the notch, they made it part of the software. That is so genius. Do you have any idea how much genius this company has? All these people must have been tested for 300 IQ to make this happen. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely amazing. I'm showing this on the screen right now. What else do I say? This feature is amazing. I think it's called like dynamic, uh, dynamic, dynamic island, dynamic island. This is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know what else to say. I'm just in shock that this happened. Unbelievable. Amazing. And besides that, uh, there's a lot of great other features too. Uh, there's not going to be a, a 8K, but we have a 48 megapixel camera that is able to take pro raw photos and videos. For a smartphone, that's insane. <laughs> and uh, then, uh, yeah, the A16 Bionic is in there as well. So you know, it has like all the faster performance that we're used to for, for Apple at this point. Uh, and an always on display that can uh, go as low as one hertz, which of course leads to all day battery life. And with all these amazing features, it still starts at $999. This is the first time in like, I would say since the iPhone 7 or N7 Plus, that the iPhones are worth their starting price. Like, from iPhone 10 onwards, they should have, uh, like the iPhone 10 and 10s and all the uh, standard Pro models, they could have, they should have done like at least, at least, 899. Because you know, for other countries, like only a hundred bucks, like for them. But you know, for other countries, you know, it's a big deal, like currency, like exchange rates and everything. It could be higher or lower for some countries. But. This is the first time where it's actually worth the $1,000 price tag, and I'm excited, bro. So those are my thoughts and overviews on all the products shown at this event. And of course, Apple is once again throwing the term can't innovate anymore under the bus. Like, who knows what we will have? I think... This could be the peakage of the smartphone, the peakage of the headphones, the peakage of the smartwatches. This event was absolutely phenomenal. I don't rate Apple events, so I'm not going to get into that. Because what's the point in rating a show that reveals tech, technology? But just know, this was a, a great product showings today. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and for the one person who's asking... I will be doing a video on Thursday, later Thursday or Friday, whenever this goes up, talking about my opinions on the episode or episodes of Cars on the Road. I don't know if uh, they're going to drop all the episodes in one day or weekly, uh, but regardless, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.